right shalom first and foremost i would like to give all praise and glory unto yahweh by hashem yahushua by hashem kakadash the ones unto the apostles and the elders the gms who rule well teach well being great example to our younger brothers and peace and blessing salutations and hope will let out them pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of the how watch him out shall push and get a body and shall want to the hopeful let the believers the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in y'all watch him out shot and what i want to get into this morning you know is how shot above the law okay yeah how shot above the law and what we see when we read the gospel is how shot you know showcases authority that he has that's above the law okay now he didn't come to contradict the law he didn't come to you know uh, uh, create a grace period for us to do what we want okay well he would showcase his authority above the law you know showing you the rank you know that the father had, had given him okay and what you had you know the hypocritical you know those, those wicked scribes and pharisees which was hypocrites you know they would always try to trip him up in the technicalities of the law okay well he showed that he was working he was working from an authority that was above the law you know and back because even when we go back to yahweh shot teaching you know to repent it was teaching our people to repent back to the law okay but he was created a grace to where they're not you know condemned okay while people wasn't condemned by the law, but that they rehearsed the law within grace. Okay? Now, I got this account here. This is the book of um, St. John, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Yahweh Shah went up to Jerusalem. Now, there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called the in the Hebrew tongue, um, Beth is da, and it says, having five porches. And these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season in the pool and troubled the water, whosoever then first, after troubling, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. So you had this pool, you know, and the angel would pretty much trouble the pool, touch the pool, and it would make that water, that pool, into a pool of healing. Okay? And whoever went into it first of those that was, you know, that was um, lame, you know, paralyzed, blind, you know, they will be able to go to their pool and be healed. Okay? And it says, verse 6 says, When Yahweh saw him lie, and he knew that he had been now a long time in that cause, or oh, actually Yahweh seeing this man that had this condition 30 and 8 years, okay, he's going to show compassion. And he said, He said unto him, Would thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me in the pool, but while I, while I am coming, another step it down before me, so he can never be the first one to get to the pool. And said Yahweh said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day, all right, and on the same day was the Sabbath. Okay, so Yahweh had compassion and healed him. You know, and that's a representation also of Yahweh Shah bringing the healing unto us. You know, like the Yahweh Shah ministry was about him bringing the healing to those that were sick, man. And see, we were sick in the spirit. You know, our spirits was off. Okay, and see, Yahweh Shah, he, he goes to the source. You know, because before we can even begin to rehearse the righteous act, we had to be healed in the mind because we were sick in the mind. Okay? Our mind was, was, was perverted. <laughs> okay? That's why you look at our prior decision making before the truth. It came from a place of sickness, man. It came from a place of, 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 of being ill. 
Okay? We had to be healed first. Then we began to keep the law to the best of our ability, man. And that's what Yahweh Shine, he was working from that standpoint of healing first. When you go to Matthew. book of Matthew 9 and, and 10 it says in the came to pass as Yahweh Shah said at meat in the house behold many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples and when the Pharisees saw it they said unto his disciples why eateth your master with publicans and sinners but when Yahweh Shah heard that he said unto them they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Okay? So Yahweh Shai came for those that were sick. Okay? Sick in the spirit. Now, he physically healed. All right? Our people that had different infirmities. Okay? But his doctrine was healing the, the, the minds of the believers, man. Okay? Verse 13 says, But go you and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I'm not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Okay? And you keep reading on, and how will I showcase mercy? And one thing that the, 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 the these scribes, we can scribe the Pharisees, the leadership back then, they didn't have any mercy. And we're going to go into an example. St. John, back in the same story, St. John 5 and 10. The Jews therefore said unto him that was, um, that was cured, it is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. So here it is. You had a man that was just, you know, unable to walk. Okay? Pretty much paralyzed. And now he's able not only to walk, but to carry his bed. Okay? But they went into the law. They didn't go into the miracle. They didn't understand the mercy that Yahweh Shah was showing. You see, Yahweh Shah was a form of mercy. But the wicked scribes and Pharisees, they were all about trying to destroy Jake and the law. Man, they, they pretty much weaponized the law to destroy Jake in this sick state. Yahweh Shah came to heal Jake so Jake will have a chance, man. You see, Yahweh Shah made this thing doable. Okay, he says he answered them. He said, he answered them, he, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, take up thy bed and walk. So he was like, look, same person that healed me, that's who told me to take up my bed and walk. So he was going into Yahweh Shai, and this is showing Yahweh Shai had authority above those scribes and Pharisees, man. Okay, that old priesthood. Okay, he had authority over that. Then asked they him, what man is that which say if unto me take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed, wish not who it was, for Yahweh Shah had conveyed himself away, and a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Yahweh Shah found him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Okay? So this shows you that Yahweh Shah. All right, he didn't, uh, when, he, well, when, when we're healed by Yahweh Shah, it's not to go sin and do what we want, it's to sin no more, man. Because he fixed, he's fixed our minds. Okay? That doesn't mean that we're not going to ever sin, but we don't have the mindset to just willfully sin. Okay? We become, all right, aware of offenses. We become aware of how we move in this thing, man. Once we once we um begin to be healed, because the healing process is going to be ongoing until the time where Yahweh shall return. But Yahweh shall show his authority over those scribes and Pharisees. Because look, Yahweh shall pretty much Yahweh shall said, "Take up thy bed and walk, man." They came talking about the law, okay? Yahweh shall like, "No, nah, you've been made whole. Go and sin no more," okay? Let's go here, Matthew 17, and, and 1, it says, And after six days, Yahweh shall take a Peter, James, and John, his brother, and bring them up into a high, part, a high mountain apart, 
and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elijah, okay, talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Yahweh, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here, all right, three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, one for Elijah. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and, and beheld a voice came out of the cloud, which said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear he him. Okay, so yeah, Yahweh shot. All right, and he had the transfiguration. You see, he had the hologram of Moses, the hologram of Elijah. Okay, and, and, and Peter wanted to build a tabernacle for three of them. Okay. But the voice came out of the heaven and said, This is my beloved son, hear he him. And there was Yahweh, there was the heavenly father, Yahweh establishing Yahweh Shah's authority above everything, man. Okay, Moses being a representation of the law, all right, and Elijah being a representation of the prophets. Okay, showing you that what? Yahweh Shah was above them both. Okay, hear ye him. He, he knows the way. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai, he, he, he conquered the law. Okay? And the, the prophecy is within him. <laughs> you see? Everything we hope for, for the prophecy is within Yahweh Shai. Everything that we want prophetically, everything that we want to happen is all within Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So the Heavenly Father said, this is my son. Hear ye him. He was vouching, man. And he was showing you how shy is right. Okay? So, when we're healed by how shy, all right, it's to lead to repentance. It's to lead to salvation. Okay? That's the reason why, you know, we've been touched in the spirit by how shy, man. They're healing. Okay? That, that leads to repentance, that leads to the salvation. Hey, <laughs> you see? So we can go here. Because even John, he understood that authority. This is St. John chapter 3. Twenty-eight. It said, "Ye yourselves, this is John speaking. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the anointed, but that I am sent before him. He that have the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly, because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled." See, John understood that Yahweh was above. You know. He said, the one that come after me, shoes, whose shoes I am not worthy to unlatch. He understood the rank of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Then he said, verse 30, he said, he must increase, but I must decrease. Okay? So Yahweh Shai's authority, when he came into the earth, Yahweh Shai established his authority, the new authority, as the order of Melchizedek. His new priesthood, man, that's establishing faith. Okay? And that old priesthood, you know, that just brought death through condemnation of the law was decreasing. Yahweh Shai has increased, man. Okay? <laughs> so let's go here. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai is coming with the ultimate healing. Okay? This is Malachi 4 and 2 said, But unto you that fear my name, all right, in order of us to fear the name, first we have to know the name, okay? And how do we know about this name? Through the teaching, through the preaching, which has what? It's healing our minds, okay? To truly fear Yahweh by Shema al all right? A healing process has, start, has had to be done. Because we was in a world we was proud, full of ourselves, thought we had it, okay? Suffering from their illness on this society, man. They teach us to be that way. 
Okay? So to eat in fear, you have about Shema Shai. Okay, there has to be what a healing to truly fear you how by Shema Shai and righteousness, man. It said, but unto you that fear the name shall the son of righteousness arise, which is Yahweh Shai, with healing in his wings. Okay? With healing in his wings, man, because how is Yahweh Shai coming back in that chair? We're going to be changed at the twinkling of our eye. We're going to be fully healed, man. Okay? We're going to be fully healed from all these spiritual and mental infirmities that we've suffered in this society, man. Okay? And it says, And ye shall go forth and grow up as cows of the stall. And you shall go forth and grow up as cows of the stall. You know? Which is symbolic of health, vibrant, vigorous. Okay? Those new bodies, man. You know? So Lord will know you brothers and you few sisters will edify till next time I say shot one. Form Yasha Allah Baba Baal DTV Sum Shawan.